welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. <laughs> Shut up, Marty. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, three, two, one. Hey, everybody, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. And at least half part of the weekend is going to be pretty good. Saturday looks like a beautiful day. Sunday is calling for a 70% chance of rain. It looks like we have a stalled front down in the south and it's going to move its way back up. So I think it's going to rain pretty much all day Sunday. So I think Sunday is going to be a washout. I don't think there's going to be any severe storms. So if you don't mind fishing in the rain, you might want to get out there. Because anytime a front is coming through like that, the fish put on the feed bag. Now this last weekend, uh, we fished Friday, Saturday, Friday and then Chad fished Saturday and then we fished again on Sunday. And Saturday and Sunday uh, were really slow. And part of that had to do with the high pressure that was building in, really shut the fishing down for us. I mean, we, we caught fish, but we struggled. But it was, uh, at least the weather was beautiful and everybody and their mother was out there. So uh, we saw a lot of, a lot of people came up, said hi, we appreciate it. A lot of people mentioned the sandwiches, which was kind of funny. So we appreciate everybody watching and supporting us. And, um, so let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast for this weekend. Now on Saturdays, you'll see we have a low tide at 744 at 1.2 feet. And then we have an incoming tide till 221 and it's coming in to a 2.65 feet. So it's moving halfway decent, but not horrible. These are really good inshore tides because the low tide that's going out is going to scream out. It's going to be a negative because we're coming off of a full moon. So that's going to be a negative 0 0.47 at 1020 in the, e in the at night. So if you're going to fish in the afternoon, that would be the tide to hit definitely for inshore. Definitely for inshore. For grouper and snapper, that tide's going to be screaming for that. So I would recommend if you're going to do both of them, if you're going to fish for grouper and snapper and then go inshore, I would fish for grouper and snapper in the morning and then uh, the inshore species in the afternoon. Now on Sunday, which I kind of mentioned, I think it's going to be a wash, but on Sunday we have a low tide at 727. As you can see, between 545 and 727 is a very flat, non-moving tide. Great for, snow, or great for snapper and grouper. Um, I'm not going to be out there, but if you're if you're wanting to fish for them, that would be really the tide to do it. And then it's a incoming tide, a little bit slower than Saturday, to 2:54 p.m. at a 2.63 feet. So it's a little bit slower because it goes one from 1.26 to 2.63, and then it's a hard outgoing in the afternoon evening time to a negative 0 0.37. So the the tide actually on Saturday is going to be much stronger in the afternoon than, than on Sunday. So let's talk about the salooners. On Saturday, we have a salooner from 8.36 to 9.36 a.m., which is going to be the minor. And then we have a major from 3.45 to 5, or 3.43 to 5.43 p.m., which is going to be the major. And that is going to be a really good bite, especially because I think this, this front from down south is going to start pushing its way up towards this way. So that barometric pressure is going to drop. And when that barometric pressure drops, the fish put on the feed bag. I've had some of my best days as fronts approached. And uh, so you definitely, if you're going to be fishing in the afternoon, I think the bite's going to be really, really good. And I'm st I, I honestly think it's going to be really, really good in the morning too on that, on that minor. So again, like I said, I mentioned that there's a 70% chance of rain on Sunday, and you can see on the radar, the future radar, how this rain is, is moving up from the south. So if you are going to go out on Sunday, I don't think that they're calling for thunderstorms, they're just calling for excessive rain. So just be careful out there and, and just kind of take precautions and, and be safe. I also wanted to mention that uh, the sign up for the, the enter the contest is going very well. We're, we're we're closing in on 11,000. We're, we're past 10,300 and something the other day. So we're getting there. If you haven't signed up for the contest, go to the website, tampabayfishingchannel.com, sign up for the, for the contest. We're going to pick another contest winner at 11,000 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do that. 
But I just want to say thank you again for all the support. We opened up our back our back our door. So if you want to come by and buy some jigs, buy some braided line, buy some uh, buy some fluorocarbon line, we've got pretty much all of it in stock. We're running low on braided line. We only have eight pound three hundred yards. Uh, so if if you're interested in that, interested in jigs, we have plenty of jigs. Everything's going smooth. We've been selling a ton of jigs, and we really appreciate the support. Again, thank you very much, and we hope to see you out on the water on Saturday. And if you have a sandwich, bring one. <laughs>